Science is itself advancing faster than ever. As science advances, its frontiers get longer and more new problems come into focus beyond them. So the outlook for science is very bright indeed. But of course, the issue is how science is applied. And here, there are opportunities, but there are also threats. I wrote a book a few years ago entitled Our Final Century? Question mark. The English publishers cut out the question mark, and the American publishers retitled the book Our Final Hour. I guess Americans like instant gratification and the reverse. The theme of this book was that the 21st century is the first in the 45 million centuries our Earth existed when one species, namely ours, can determine the future of the planet. And there are two kinds of concerns. The first is that human populations are rising and each of us is imposing more pressure on the planet through greater consumption of energy and other resources. So there's a risk of irreversible damage to the biosphere from a growing population. Secondly, technology empowers individuals and small groups to a greater extent. And this therefore means that civilization is vulnerable to small groups as it becomes more interconnected and networked. I think it's crucial that these problems are at the forefront of political debate. Because I think my general view is to be a technological optimist in that I believe technology can provide the ability for all the world to live at a high standard of living. But I'm a political pessimist in that just as now we could feed the world in a way we're not doing, so in future it may not be so easy to ensure that the benefits of technology are evenly spread between the developing and the developed world and the benefits of globalization are fairly shared. So I think there will be great challenges and this 21st century is going to be a unique one in human history.